So thank you guys so much for being here. We're super excited. Um, so um, obviously we talked a little bit in the preseason, um, but we focus a lot on change, the amount of change that you guys have kind of had to go through. Um, you guys lost around 14 seniors. Um, a lot of them were team leaders for that season. Anybody can answer this. What does that leadership adjustment look like? If you guys just want to. You can go down the line. Yeah. I mean, we've had a lot of young guys step up this year. And I mean, we've had some young guys that became captains, you know, I mean, a lot of us have last year we didn't play as much, but I mean with losing all those seniors, you know, we've had to step up and play a big role in the leadership game. So And like you said, losing fourteen to fifteen guys, that's that's a big hole to fill. So um we're definitely young, but we're we're stepping up to the challenge and I think a lot of the young guys are stepping up to it as well. I mean, yeah, we are pretty young, but we're stepping up with them. And as being a senior, I think it's showing that some of the young guys are really stepping up, like Parker and some of the other guys that aren't here. Uh, I think that they're responding very well. Um, they're putting in the work of practice, giving us older guys a good look. Um, that's pretty much it. Uh, <laughs> pretty good. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. So you guys had mentioned, um, I mean obviously I didn't then you bounced off of it, the amount of seniors that you guys lost last year. Um Penny Franklin, Shamblin Twins, Cole Hines, they were all staples in last year's team. Um, what did you guys as players learn from them and how are you gonna bring that into this season? Oh like just like just leadership. I mean just seeing how those guys like stepped up and led the team last year. We just Young guys just trying to step up and be just like them, you know, just like learning from what they did. I mean, they lived in the film room. We've been living in the film room, just like preparing it each week, taking it step by step. I mean, I've stepped up and dealt, been a leader this year, and I know other guys have stepped up and taken that leadership spot too. So, I mean, from what I've learned with them, because I've been with them throughout my whole entire, so from what I learned from them, they had a lot of heart and intensity, so that kind of carries over. And it shows, like, when we're down, we just got to keep going and get up with it. Um, they've showed me a lot uh, throughout the three years. Um, they taught me how to be an aggressive player. And it's just some stuff that we enjoy to pass down to the younger guys. Are there any particular games that you guys are excited for? I mean, I know there's the Battle of the Bridge that you got. Uh, Rose Bridge game against Maryland, there's Hyerson. We're talking about your upcoming season. Any particular games that you're looking forward to? I mean, we're just excited for week one. Yeah. We'll go from there. Mm -hmm. I'm not worried about day by day. Yeah, it's we're just going week by week, and yeah. we're going to prepare for the best we can for each week. And then Coach Mettler, obviously, this is your first time in Gallup Police. Yep. Um, what are you looking to bring? I know we talked a little bit about this, but what are you looking to bring to the table, especially with these guys? And really the whole team in this program? Well, you know, um, I want to continue to, you know, build on that great culture that they have down here. It's it's a football town. Um, I think everybody rallies around football in the community. And, you know, as far as me coming in, I want to make sure I'm bringing in high expectations. We're meeting those expectations. And then do you have, and we can go kind of down the line with this as well because it's a player coach thing. Mm -hmm. uh, tell me a little bit about your expectations. For the uh, I mean, be on top of the OVC this year, you know, I mean, we got a lot of doubters out there, a lot of people that don't think we got what it takes this year, just from losing all those seniors last year, but I mean, we got a lot of guys with heart on this team, and I think we're going to do some good things this year, so. I mean, from a coach's standpoint, being the best in all areas of life, I think um, being the best we can be in the classroom being, uh, you know, role models for life purposes and things like that. Um, and then on the football field, being the best that we can be, and, you know, try and get as many wins as possible. I mean, we just want to win as much as we can, and we want to go week by week and win every game that we can because that's our goal. And we just we want to be able to, like, be like leaders for the community so, like, the younger kids look up to us so they have, like, a high standard with us instead of, like, towards us. So I expect a lot out of us, and I think we're 
capable of it. Um, OVCU, like Parker said, uh, you know, we came up short last year against Fairland and Ironton, and that set a fire up underneath our butts, and we're ready for it. We're hungry. <laughs> Go ahead. Uh, kind of looking forward to next year here at Dell. Um, week one, 2025, is announced the rivalry is coming back with Jack. Can you guys talk about just how that came to be? And uh, even though it's 365 days down the road, uh, just how special that's going to be? Well, yeah, I mean, obviously we're focused on this season and we really want that to be the focus of this year. But um, like you said, Jackson has always been a big rivalry for the community. Um, Athens, our contract's running out with them, so we decided, you know, continue to play top teams, and I think that's going to help us progress, you know, in all areas. And um, the tougher the schedule, the better we're going to be, and the tougher we're going to be. So that's that's kind of the mindset behind that. What's one strength you guys saw during your scrimmages? What would you say is one weakness you guys need to work on in the next couple of weeks? Uh, I think we have a lot of stuff we need to work on for sure, but. We have a lot of heart and we've seen our potential when we're like up. So we're just going to feed off that into week one and then go day by day. Um, I think from the scrimmages, we, we always try to schedule them real tough. Um, Nelsonville is obviously going to be a really good team this year. Uh, Northwest is going to be a physical team this year. Um, that's why we schedule them. We want to see where we're struggling at and the things we need to work on and continue to improve them and continue to improve upon. So. Um, as far as areas for growth and growth and things like that, I think, um, you know, we got a lot of things to work on, but we have a lot of talent as well. And if we can get those things cleaned up, things cleaned up, then, uh, we'll have a lot more success. Oh, you pretty much said what I was going to say. So. Stole it all right. Yeah. Yeah. Um, you also mentioned, I mean, when we talked in the preseason, yeah. you had mentioned kind of the offensive changes that this team has gone through since the coaching switch. Um, and all of you guys can kind of go into this, but can you tell me a little bit more about those schematic changes as well as what you've kind of seen from the sidelines? Uh, I mean, well, I won't say too much. <laughs> yeah, not, not too much. <laughs> yeah. Just trying to, we're a really athletic roster this year, really athletic team, just trying to space things out. I mean, Last year we did a bunch of different looks, but you know this year we're just trying to do our own thing, trying to. Uh, I don't, don't want to say too much, but yeah. Yeah, this you know I mean just athletic team this year, so we're just trying to space things out pretty much. So I think as the head coach and the OC as well, the philosophy for us is just trying to get our athletes in space. I think that's about as much as I can elaborate on that. I just think, as far as last year goes, we had you know a solid team, and I think this year we have the same like talent, ability, so we're just going to try to get everybody hands on the ball, see what they can do. Uh, up front, much ain't changed. Um, we've thrown in some other stuff to try to spread the defense out a little bit, but other than that, it's pretty much the same. And then, Parker, you and I have kind of also hit on the preseason conversation about how many guys have actually stepped up, and you've mm -hmm. seen that from the sidelines and the field, all that kind of stuff. What are you expecting from those players on the field, and what are you expecting out of yourself and all of you guys' teams, obviously? Well, I mean, I'm expecting a lot of us to step up and play with some heart and some intensity this year. I mean, from the start of this year, we was – me, a few other guys. I mean, Braylon was in there with me in the weight room early, up and early in the morning. I mean, we was always getting after it and just – having that mindset that we want to be to the top of the OVC this year. I mean, just getting up every single morning, working hard after school, going and throwing, running routes, you know what I'm saying? Like, I mean, just really just putting in the extra work just to be on top of OVC this year. And I mean, a lot of guys were in there, a lot of younger guys trying to step up and play on varsity and get some more snaps. So, I mean, we got a lot of guys that have worked hard and stepped up, so. I think from a coaching perspective, just setting those expectations high and, you know, making sure they're meeting those standards and they're, they're doing the things, the little things that matter. And, um, you know, continuing to do that is what's going to lead to success. Um, like Parker said, we've, we, I mean, we've put in the work off season and even now we've got up mornings, even afternoons, we've been there two days. So, I mean, we've definitely put the work in, so we're, we're excited for this year. You guys have pretty much covered it. Keep going. You can go figure it out. You're good. You're good, Chapter.
All right. Thank you, guys. Thank you guys Appreciate so it.